A couple months ago, we published our video on adding sticky notes to our game, and then I forgot about it. Fast forward another month, and we get a notification pop up on our YouTube, and it was a comment on that video. Now, this comment isn't like a lot of other comments we have on our channel, like, you should do X or Y to the game, or I'm liking how this is progressing, or something like that. No. This person woke up and chose violence. As a trained UI designer, this UI is honestly trash. I would be kind of embarrassed posting this on YouTube, but you know that's just me. If you want some help, he could try to help you out, but honestly, I don't think you have the talent to implement what I showed you if I tried to help. You might be asking why it's important to listen to comments like these or just general criticism. Well, on one hand, it could be quite motivating to have someone else tell you to kick your ass in gear for the unmotivated individuals like me, or it could give you a reality check if your ego is so incredibly large. So, with this newfound motivation guiding us, I decided to actually start sketching out what we're going to change. And by actually taking the time to do this for once, I realized that some, if not all, of the user experience is not up to scratch, just like the guy was saying. For example, the way you can use one-time power-ups is quite frankly just terrible, because the UI is just so small, and it's a feature you only get introduced to if you purchase said power-up. So we've just been that straight away. And in its place, I thought it would be nice if there could be something to actually buy as an upgrade to your player's stats, like speed, acceleration, handling, capacity, etc. Actually, not etc, because those are the only four things you can upgrade. We're going to also go for a Mario Kart style display of these stats alongside the actual cart you've chosen. Then you can choose to mess around with some upgrades before choosing to actually buy them. And actually, speaking of carts, let's fix the cart menu too. We want a stat display like the upgrade menu, but we also want to compare these stats with the other carts too. This script will compare the previous trolley upgrades and the current trolley upgrades, and then draw the squares in different colors based on that. It looks messy, but hey, it works. The problem with this is that the player can just cycle through all the carts and compare everything. What's the problem then? I hear you wonder. Well, if the player can just see every single cart before reaching the point in the game when they can actually buy it, it will just remove any sense of discovery. There's just nothing exciting to reveal because they already know what it is. So, we fix that by only displaying the current trolley and the one that you have next up. So, you kind of know what you're getting, but you're also interested in what could be ahead. And at this point, we're on a bit of a roll. So, we decide to give ourselves a nice little break by just working on the pause menu. I did have a lot of fun with the animations, and all I really did was change the font and positioning. We did a very similar thing for the options menu as well. We kept most of it the same, which, you know, is quite unusual because, as you all well know, I just love to redo previous work. This next feature is probably the most important feature we redid, because it's the first thing the players see which is the main menu. And I couldn't just change the font of the text in the background. We can't just have such an important element in our game be that simple. Yeah, we just, we just changed the font and the background. But what we did spend a lot of time thinking of was a new name. You see, Minimals was inspired by the Mini Metro and Mini Motorway series, which is known for being 2D, minimalistic, and top-down. And because my game has changed so much from the original idea I had, I also wanted to change the name as well. We haven't really settled on a name, but for right now, we're going to call it Cart Run Game 3D, which in my opinion is a pretty banger name, but let us know if you have any other name suggestions in the comments below. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you had any comments or criticisms you wanted to make in the comments, please feel free to, because I could really use the extra motivation. But anyways, that was all from me. I'll see you guys in the next video.